Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Medical Microbiology and this is the part 2 of the series of videos on Medical Microbiology. So let's start the question and answer session on Medical Microbiology. So the first question of this part 2 video that is a condition in which bacteria circulate in blood without causing disease is known as option A bacteremia, option B septicemia, option C pyremia or option D endotoxemia. So the which one is the right one about the <clears throat> about the bacteria circulate in blood without causing any disease. So that is known as option A that is bacteremia. Okay. So this bacteremia, bacteremia is when you have bacteria in your blood that uh, situation is known as bacteremia and it may not have any symptoms and your immune system may clear it on its own. But the septicemia is more serious than bacteremia. If you have septicemia, you, ha you also have bacteria in your blood, but the bacteria are starting to multiply and spread to the other area of your body that is more severe in reaction in respect of infection. Okay, so this is the first question about the bacteremia and septicemia. So let's move on to question number two or sorry, question number 22 that is. Of, uh, that is a four year old child has developed acute short throat. So on examination, a pseudomembrane was observed in the posterior pharyngeal wall. So the causative agent could be any of the following except option A, Candida albicans, option B, Leptotrichia brucellis, option C, Corynebacterium diphtheri or option D, Haemophilus influenzae. So the right answer is option D. That is Haemophilus influenzae is the, uh, which, uh, the causative agent could be any of the following except Haemophilus influenzae. Okay. So this is the question number 22. Let's move on to question number 23. It is a 40 year old man following sexually or sexual contact has developed a painless ulcer on the pre uh, prepuce or clitoris so on examination it was found to be 2 cm in diameter with indurated margins so which of the following is the most probable diagnosis and options are option a cancroid option b syphilis option c donovanosis or option d lymphogranuloma venerum so the right answer about this disease about this sexual contact disease that is option b that is syphilis so all we all know that syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease okay so let's move on to question number 24 that is which of the following agent can cause dysentery and the options are option a shigella flexionary option b estrichia coli option c antamoeba histolytica or option d all of the above so the easy is very easy question that is the right answer is option d that is all of the above are responsible for dysentery okay that are shigella estrichia coli antamoeba histolytica all are responsible for dysentery okay so let's move on to question number 25 so which of the following bacteria can cause infective type of food poisoning and the options are option A Salmonella entridis, option B Staphylococcus aureus, option C Clostridium botulinum or option D all of the above. So the right answer is option A that is Salmonella entridis. So Salmonella entridis which is a bacteria which can cause infective type of food poisoning. So this is responsible for infective type of food poisoning. The next question they can get next is question number 26. So Infective toxic type of food poisoning is caused by option A Clostridium perfringens, option B Salmonella entridis, option C Staphylococcus aureus, or option D Salmonella dubin. Da, sorry, Dublin. So, which one is the right answer? So, the right answer is option A, that is Clostridium perfringens, which is a, which is a infective toxic type of food poisoning. Okay. So let's move on to question number 27. <coughs> Sorry. A four day old premature neonate has 
developed meningitis so which of the following organisms is most likely to be the causative agent so a four year old premature neonate has developed meningitis so which microorganism is responsible for meningitis so here you have to choose option a is staphylococcus pneumoniae or streptococcus agalactic agalactic or option c neisseria meningitis or option d hemophilus influenzae type b so the right answer is option b that is streptococcus agalacti so this is responsible for meningitis in premature neonate okay so meningitis is an inflammation or swelling of the protective membrane covering the brain and spinal cord a bacterial or viral infection of the fluid surrounding the brain and spinal cord as usually causes the swelling so however injuries cancers certain drugs and other type of infection also cause meningitis so it is a mainly brain or spinal cord infection okay so let's move on to question number 28 that is a 40 year old individual has developed dysentery after eating improperly cooked contaminated food so which of the following organism could be suspected and options are option a citrobacter fru uh, fruendi option b klebsiella pneumoniae option c salmonella entridis or option d shigella species so which one is the right answer about the contaminated food so option the right answer is option d that is shigella species so a 40 year old individual has developed dysentery after eating improperly cooked contaminated food and the suspected organism is shigella species okay so let's move on to question number 29 that is which of the following viruses is the commonest cause of severe diarrhea in infants and the options are option a rotavirus group a option b norwalk virus option c astrovirus option d calciviruses and the right one is option a that is rotavirus group a so which of the following viruses is the commonest cause of severe diarrhea in infants that is rotavirus group a okay next question is question number 30 it is which of the following viruses cause viral hemorrhagic fever and the options are option a lassa option b marburg option c ebola or all of the above so which one is the right answer about the viruses cause viral hemorrhagic fever that is option d that is all of these options are correct about which can cause which viruses that, that can cause viral hemorrhagic fever okay so viral hemor hemorrhagic fever are a group of severe illness that affect many organ systems at a time and damage the cardiovascular system and this viral hemorrhagic fever are spread by contact with infected animals or insects such as mosquitoes ticks and rodents and bats okay so next question dekhenge next is question number 31 which of the following viruses causes maculopapular skin rash and the options are option a varicella zoster virus option b enterovirus option c measles or option d molossum contagiosum and the right answer about this maculopapular skin rash is option c that is measles so measles virus is responsible for this skin rash so it is look like this and this uh, uh, maculopapular rash is a mix of macules that is flat discolored area of skin and papules that is small raised bumps that as usually cover a large area of skin okay so next question they can get next is question number 32 so which of the following viruses causes genital infection and the options are option a herpes simplex virus type 2 option b human papilloma virus type 6 option c molossum contagiosum or option d all of the above so which one is right about the viruses causes genital infection that is option d all of these viruses can cause genital infections okay so let's move on to question number 33 that is which of the following sexually transmitted transmitted viruses does not cause 
डिजीज इन जेनिटल ट्रैक्ट इट सेल्फ एंड द ऑप्शन सर ऑप्शन ए हार्पिस सिंप्लेक्स वायरस टाइप टू ऑप्शन बी ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी वायरस ऑप्शन सी ह्यूमन पैपिलोमा वायरस टाइप सिक्स और ऑप्शन डी मोलसम कॉन्टाजियसम एंड द राइट वन इज ऑप्शन बी इट इज ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी वायरस तो व्हिच वन सो सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड वायरसेस डज नॉट कॉज डिजीज इन जेनिटल ट्रैक इटसेल्फ इज ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी वायरस और एड्स वायरस ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 34 दैट इज Which of the following viruses can cause prenatal infection? And options are option A, rubella virus; option B, cytomegalovirus; option C, varicella zoster virus; or option D, all of the above. So, right one is option D. That is, all of the above are responsible for causing prenatal infection. So, what is prenatal infection? Prenatal infections are bacterial or viral illness or infection that can be caused from a mother to her baby during pregnancy or delivery okay so that is known as prenatal infection okay so let's move on to question number 35 so which of the following bacteria can cause urinary tract infection in hospitalized patients and the options are option a escherichia coli option b klebsiella option c proteus option d all of the above so the right one is option D that is all of the above. So which one of the following bacteria can cause urinary tract infection in hospitalized patient? That is all of these uh, organisms can cause urinary tract infection. Okay. So next one is question number thirty-six. That is rhinitis is caused by rhinoviruses. That is option A, option B, coronaviruses, option C, respiratory. Syncytial virus, option D, all of the above. So, which one is responsible for rhinitis? That is option D. That is all of these options are rest. All of these uh, viruses are responsible for rhinitis. So, what is rhinitis? Rhinitis is a reaction that happens in the eyes, nose, and throat when allergens in the air trigger histamine to be released in the body. So, some common cause of rhinitis include pollens dust mites mold cockroach waste animal uh, dander fumes and odor hormonal changes smoke all this uh, can cause or can initiate the rhinitis okay so let's move on to question number 37 that is bron uh, bronchiolitis is caused by option a respiratory syncytial virus option b para influenza virus type 1 type 2 and type 3 or option c influenza virus a or option d all of the above so the right one is option d that is all of the above are responsible or responsible for bron uh, bronchiolitis so what is bronchiolitis so this disease is a viral infection that causes swelling and mucus build up in the small air passage in the lung okay so this is a lung disease okay bronchiolitis so let's move on to question number 38 That is, which of the following bacteria is or are implicated in hospital-associated respiratory infections? And the options are option A, Staphylococcus aureus; option B, Klebsiella; option C, Enterobacter; option D, all of the above. So the right one is option D. That is, all of the above. So which of the following bacteria? This all of these bacteria are implicated in hospital-associated respiratory infection. They are all. responsible for hospitally associated respiratory infection that are staphylococcus aureus klebsiella and enterobacter okay so next is question number 39 that is presence of thymidin in the medium can interfere with the action of option a trimethoprim option b aminoglycosides option c tetracycline option d all of the above so the right one is option a that is trimethoprim so presence of thymidine in the medium can interfere with the action of trimethoprim okay so this trimethoprim is an antibiotic it's used to uh, treat and prevent urinary tract infection such as uh, cystitis okay so it is used it is an antibiotic which is used to prevent urinary tract infection okay so the last question of this video that is pharyngitis is caused by option a influenza viruses option b para influenza viruses option c rhinoviruses or option d all of the above so which one is responsible for para uh, pharyngitis 
that is option D that is all of these viruses are responsible for pharyngitis so what is pharyngitis pharyngitis is inflammation of the pharynx or back of the throat so it is a symptom not a condition the main symptom is a sore throat which can also be painful or scratchy okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on medical microbiology okay so thank you for watching this video